Hi, this is Linz from Sweet Natures and this is our MSC Yacht Club Duplex Suite Review. As always, I'm joined by Mikey. Hello. Hello, who put the video together and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. <laughs> So this is our Yacht Club Duplex Suite review on yes. MSC Virtual Oceans. Yeah. We were stayed in cabin 9003. Yes. Which, as it suggests, is on deck 9. Which is not in the Yacht Club. Which is not. The Yacht Club is on decks 15, 16 and 18. But it's situated directly below, just a few floors below. So you have to go up the stairs or, or lift to go into the Yacht Club proper. Now, I'd just like to point out that we originally, when we were going on the ship, had booked one of the Yacht Club Deluxe Suites. Yes. And we won the duplex suite via the upgrade program, so we had to pay a bit extra for it, mm -hmm. but it wasn't what we originally booked. Can we talk about the bathroom? We can talk about the bathroom, well, absolutely. the actual MSC... Products. Yeah. I'm not impressed by them. I would rather... They're more like store brand roller coaster collection bits. Yeah, they didn't feel luxurious. No. When you look at everything in the Yacht Club, and you know, if you've not seen our Yacht Club review, please do check that out. We love the Yacht Club. We did. The MSC own brand product. The toiletries. Felt, felt cheaper. When you go on other cruise lines and you get you know, things like LMS occasionally or uh, what's the other one? Loxetane. Loxetane. It, it didn't feel Modern as good. Brown. Yeah, absolutely. Back to the room though. Mm -hmm. It was an incredibly spacious room. We have never had as much storage. We had all the storage. In our life. No. I mean... It's, it says it's for two people. Obviously, it can sleep more because you've got sofa beds downstairs. Yes. There were only the two of us on, in it, so we had just an abundance of storage space. Yeah. And an abundance of space just to sort of move around. Yes. I, 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 it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hey, we had a lovely settee there. TV straight opposite, which has the usual interactive features that you expect on the bigger ships these days. The butler would... would come in the afternoon and put little goodies on the table for us. It would. Including that lemon meringue pie. We've got a kettle, we've got the coffee maker. The Nespresso coffee use. machine. No, we never used it, but we're not massive coffee drinkers no. in the room. We'll tend to have a cup of tea in there. Yes. Now, one thing I'm going to have a moan about. Okay. On the TV, Yeah. you have a selection of TV channels, as you would expect. Oh, I know what you're going to say. And it has the movies. Yeah. MSC don't give you any of the movies. They no. charge you nine pound nine euros fifty. For films you've probably for seen. Films that you will have definitely seen that have been out a few years. Which it, it just felt a bit nickel and diming it when you're paying for a yacht club room. I think you're nickel and diming it for any cabin, but in particular sort of when it's in the more sort of yacht clubby type. You just went in the fridge there. The Toblerone we got one we could eat that one, but yeah. any more Toblerones we would be charged. And for. that was the same for the peanuts in the yacht club. But the actual drinks within there Like the soft drinks. They were all free. They were included. As, yeah, they were included as was the beers in there. Anything like that was included uh, to drink as much as you want. Now one of the big features of this room, yes. and the thing that really attracted me first as well as it being an incredible room, mm -hmm. is its own private Hot tub. Whirlpool. Whirlpool, yeah. Right in the front of the ship. Yes. Very private. We'll come back to that later. Mm -mm, I, we'll, mm, we will come back to it. No, you're making my eye twitch. Go on. So it's private. Uh, to everyone. Uh -huh. Apart from. When it's dark and if you've got the light on in the whirlpool and the people next door have got their whirlpool on you and can, they've got their light on. There's a slight on. gap between that you can see. It's like, what? no, the reflection on the glass is like watching the television. It is, yeah. For everyone else though, if there's no one in that one. It's still. Very private. No yes. one can look down into it. You no. can see from outside there. But if you, if you hop to in at night, put the light out. Yeah. If you want more privacy. Well, we, um, yeah. The furniture out on the deck yes. was nice. Uh huh. I didn't feel it was as luxurious as I would have expected from a suite. No, it wasn't padded, was it? Yeah, you know, when you look at some of the suites on Celebrity or, mm -hmm. or to be fair, most of the cruise lines, you get that more luxurious one in, in the suite area. Yeah. And it just felt a little bit cheap. It was good, there was nothing yeah, wrong with yeah, it. Yeah. And to be fair, we didn't get a chance to use it that much. No. Well, just while we went for the curtains to go, <laughs> would you like to invite people to subscribe once? I would love to invite people to subscribe. 
as always thank you if you ever have done it's really appreciated we know it's a chore and thank you and you can also follow us on the various social medias including our facebook group and if you're interested we do have our youtube membership which we would love it if you would join that and help the channel thank you and by chore i mean flicking all the buttons not necessarily yeah. watching us no well we hope not <laughs> Going up the stairs. Oh, those stairs were painful. They were. That's actually quite a good thing. When Thank you come, you. when you're getting out of bed at night, if you ain't got some sort of slippers or shoes on, put the slippers on. Yeah, they had quite big metal ridges. So they walking did. down them, we were like, oh, ow, oh. In barefoot, also, yeah. yeah, it's not, it's not comfortable if you don't wear shoes. No, it's not. The the view from upstairs, we've got the curtains on at the moment, which I'll I'll take back off again shortly. It's stunning to be able to look out to the front of the ship as well. Yes big main bathroom because downstairs was a toilet and shower yes i i used that shower more than you did downstairs yeah you tended to use upstairs because then you could go next door which we'll see in a minute to get ready that became my my um getting ready cupboard it did and it was a nice space and it got warm one of the things that i was quite concerned at when we booked this one albeit we've had rooms at the front of the ships before mm -hmm. was just how much motion we would feel yes and the reality was none no, it were great for deck nine. Yeah, fantastic. And there were a couple of days where the seas were a bit rougher. Yeah. But because we were banging the middle of the ship centrally. Yes. And then right at the front. Yeah. We really didn't feel it going up and down at all. No. And I, I was a bit concerned sort of going up and down the stairs if it were a bit rough. Yeah. None of that at all. No, this is now my getting ready cupboard. It is. And great space in here. So walk-in wardrobe, but it had a dressing area. Now, I never went find. to... The opposite side of that door to see what it was like. Well, that's the emergency exit door which comes out on the deck above ours, so that comes out on deck 10. But I could hear the announcements and the music and everything from my cupboard. Yeah, you, once we were in the bedroom and you close that the main door, so you couldn't hear anything on no. the, there. No, but you could hear it at the other side. Oh, this is there too much. Oh dear. The room was incredibly quiet. It was, it was very quiet apart from in the morning when they were getting out the big chains to when we were docking. Yeah, that's a good point because you could hear the either the anchors or, or what they you were moving. You could feel it, you yeah. Could. And it went off quite a few minutes when they were doing that. Um, it was loud. And we would, off, if we were coming to the port early, that could start at like 4 or 5 a.m. It was early. Yeah. We, we heard it especially early when we were coming back into the Southampton home dock. When we were oh, like the heel, the back. Yeah, it was like, oh, time to go. But for us, incredibly spacious cabin, as we've already said. Yes. I'm glad that we did it. Yeah. Having a, your own private hot tub is amazing. But for me, I would rather be in the yacht club proper. Yeah. In probably one of the deluxe suites than in sort of that little bit further away. I think for a treat like a honeymoon or an anniversary amazing. or something like that, amazing. But we've, we've done it now. Well, we give it eight and a half out of ten. And it's not that there was anything wrong with the room. The room was stunning. Yeah. Because there was a couple of little sort of minor niggles that we said. Uh, around the noise and bits but the main bit for us we would have preferred it to be in the opera yes and end of another video then well thank you darling cheers cheers thank you for watching and have a lovely day